So I've been getting a lot of hate on that video I posted about the Betaflight 4.0.2 filters. Bullshit vlogger. That was meant to be a demonstration because I wanted to make sure across multiple quads that the filters were doing what I noticed them doing and that it wasn't going to be something that was specific to that build. Infected clam anus. Blue waffles with syrup. But I am confident with everything that I'm seeing that this is going to help a lot of people. People who haven't bothered to follow UAV Tech, who haven't watched his three or four videos about uh, the D-Men, the D-Gains, and the filters. Bullshit made of light. <clears throat> and at the very minimum, this should save a lot of people a lot of time. So, preface before the good stuff, I did not come up with any of this. What I did was watch UAV Tech's videos. Link will be in the description. Card should be up somewhere. For the people that don't feel like watching all the videos to try to scrape these settings out, this should save you the time. With the D-Gains, that is going to be specific to your build, your quad, your motors, your props, your flying style. So you are still going to have to play with the D-Gains, that little bit of tuning, to get the D's exactly where they need to be. But what you want to do is use D-Min as your normal D. You want to boost your D's up in the regular PID section up to what their maximum value will be in the worst case scenario. And feel free to go a little nuts with it, you know, stick your D's up between 50 and 60, because Betaflight will almost never boost them all the way up. And then you're going to have to play with the, the D gain and the D advance. Now, I'm going to tell you that I had the best luck with the D advance and the D gain exactly where these numbers are. They're semi-aggressive without being just, you know, jump straight up to the maximum D. Now, with the filters, per UAV Tech's explanation, the gyro notch filter cleans up all of the gyro noise. So we don't need that taking up time in the PID loop. Turn off the gyro filters. We don't need the cascading D filter. We only need one if we tune it right, and by setting it between 60 hertz and 200 hertz, it seems to get rid of all that motor noise. Now that's a pretty broad range, but it should work for a pretty broad, broad range of drones with different build characteristics. So, in the comments, leave your thoughts, leave your experiences, and if you end up tuning or tweaking anything to get it even more cleared up, I would appreciate you sharing that as well. Remember to fly smart, be safe, and happy crashing.